in honor of little Eva here. I'm just feeling a little a little sad about about this guy. <laughs> Oh, rise and shine, internet. Drank quite a few beers last night while I was editing. I got a lot of the warp stabilization and color correction done on the, on the wedding. Woke up with a little bit of a headache. I woke up really early, which is good. I was up like, like seven. And I'm just doing my little morning stroll to get some coffee. But today is my last day here in Germany, and it's gonna, it's gonna be a special one. <laughs> Ah, yes. I really like my morning routine here. This coffee's good. This, the walk is good. I'm starting to like Germany a little bit. So the most synchronistic thing happened last night. While I was with uh, Garrett yesterday flying drones, I had this like random idea that my, I was figuring out my whole luggage situation. And I remember that one of my friends wanted to buy my drone because I want to upgrade to the Phantom 5 soon. And it hasn't come out yet. I'm not sure when DJI is going to drop it, but... I sent him a message and I was like, hey Doug, are you still interested in purchasing my Phantom? And we've kind of been conversating the past 12 hours and he's on his way to Dusseldorf right now to buy my drone. I wrote a little post this morning about all the memories that I've had with this guy and what an impact this thing has, has made on my life. And I'm trying to figure out how to take a photo right now. I set up my tripod, but it's not really working. I'm thinking about maybe I'll just do like a selfie stick with the GoPro. I want to make a little post in honor of little Eva here. I'm just feeling a little... A little sad about about this guy. Yeah, I'll read you guys the post. I was kind of like in tears when I was writing it. So today is an especially bittersweet day for me. The universe has that divine timing so magically on point in every moment. It blows my mind daily. So after all the airport drama and being here in Germany the last week, I found an old friend of mine that wanted to buy my drone. A challenging goodbye for me because this is such an important asset in what I use to create and do my work. I'm not sure why I'm crying right now because I practice non-attachment daily. And the fact that this is an animate object makes it quite silly. Eva, you've been so good to me. Thank you for blessing me with the potential to create my wildest dreams. Thank you for allowing me to manifest my visions. Thank you for making me feel like a little kid playing real life video games. Thank you for all the fun adventures around the world, especially the ones where we've almost gotten in trouble by so many foreign policemen. I've always thanked you after every flight, appreciating you, appreciating you for being so reliable and helping me live the life that I do. I'm so glad to have many cherished videos that we've created together, I will, and I'll always love you forever. <laughs> I think it'll be like quite endearing for people to see me write such a meaningful post about a drone. <laughs> but truly, this thing has been, I don't know where I'd be if I didn't have it. This thing has made me, has made my videos so awesome. And I'm so grateful for it and what it's been able to do for me and my business and traveling and I <laughs> should make like a little montage of all the memories that I've had with with this guy. I'm so thankful that I never had a crash with it. Still got the little OEM stickers on there. Like never, these little stickers, I've never taken them off. And the stickers on the sensor never taken off too. Yeah, just a little sad. <laughs> that took, it took way longer than I wanted it to. But I got a good one. This shows my sadness, yeah. Just me and my little drone, Eva. <laughs> So my friend Doug's gonna be here in like two and a half hours, so I really want to get some meditation in. I gotta do updates on this thing because I've been updated for almost a year because I like the, when they update it, they update the no-fly zones. I'm gonna update the firmware so everything's fresh and ready and ready to go. And then I gotta unpack my backpack and say farewell to this bad boy. This thing has been everywhere as well. Like from the Great Wall of China to Machu Picchu, Thailand, Guatemala, literally everywhere. Hong Kong, Switzerland. So many hikes, so many wonderful moments. Sorry, I'm a sentimental guy. I get really like, just moments. I just really love reminiscing and feeling and yeah. <laughs> I just cleared out these little side pockets in this bag. And look at all the stuff that's in here. I have all these, this is so Asian of me to have all these napkins. I can never have enough napkins. Big stack here from Starbucks or something. <laughs> Got some old Just Two Guys stickers. Got some Yogi bedtime tea. Some wet naps. <laughs> What's in here? I think there's a little stone in here. Some good luck stuff from Japan. Dope Shot Club stickers. I haven't cleared out this pocket yet. This is crazy how much stuff is in here. I love this backpack, by the way. This is the Low Pro 450 drone bag. It's been everywhere and so rugged. It's seriously amazing. Man, crazy. GoPro battery, micro SD card reader. Oh, I got a little pirate fidget spinner. Benny gave this to me. It's the Dama wheel. You, if you want things to come to you, you spin it towards you. If you want things to go away, spin it away. 
so cool. And this little bunny rabbit here has so much significance. My friend Shay, when I went to Beijing, she gave this to me. This little bunny rabbit, been on this drone bag forever. This little guy has been everywhere with me. Seriously, all over the world. He's super soft and so cuddly and cute. On this side, my yogi dad Rudy, his yog his wife Iori gave this to me. It's supposed to bring me good relationships. And this little guy was from um, Peru in the Sacred Valley. Holding on to fear in lieu of comfort. Here, back at the train station, about to pick up my friend Doug and teach him the drone ropes. Teach him how it's done, teach him the way. You might live to see my face. There he is, Mr. Doug. What's up, dude? How's it going, man? It's been ages, right? Just gave Doug the one hour crash course. Do you remember everything? Uh, I got it all. <laughs> all figured out. <laughs> <laughs> it stopped raining, so we're gonna go outside and go for his first flight. The, oh, maiden, yes. the maiden voyage. Yes, sir. I'm so excited for you. We found a very open space, not too windy. Maiden voyage, I'm ready. I'm, I'm trying to figure out how to open this bag <laughs> first. <laughs> there she is. Check it out. I'm so excited for you. All right, man. So, start with the drone or start with the... Either way, whatever you're more comfortable with. It's about to be his first flight. So yeah, bring him... Do a little rev right there. Up, I guess. Yes, this is up. Wait, wait, Alan. So bring it back down to turn. You just hold it until it turns off. This left stick, it goes in mm -hmm. altitude, right? Up, yep. down. And okay. Once you're in the air, you'll get a better feel for it. Right. Uh. Start her up. <laughs> and take the left. <laughs> take the <laughs> whole rev. <laughs> And if you let go, it just stops in one place. <laughs> <laughs> Dang, this thing's crazy. What do you think so far? It's rad, dude. <laughs> it's really cool. Dude, this thing is fresh. <laughs> it is, man. This is the Phantom 4 Pro. You ready to live the drone life? Dude, I'm gonna, I'm gonna try it out, man. I'm yeah. gonna give it a good go. I told Pauline, she's like, you know, you're pretty busy. I said, hey, I'm gonna give it a couple hours a week, you know, see yes. where it takes me. Yes. She looks good on you. I'm you, so, you I'm, like it? yeah, I'm really, I'm really happy it's going to a Eva, good place, right? man. Yep. All right. The Allstadt. What does that mean, old city? Old city. Checking out the old town here. It stopped raining, so we're gonna try to get one more shot. Cruise up through the Allstadt a little bit, go to this park. Yeah. To get the Rhine. Perfect. Yep. That sounds good. This is as Europe as it gets, huh? Yes. Super Euro. Yeah, this is cool. We have arrived at the Rhine River. The Rhine. Man, this would be a great place to fly. Let's go find a place where there's no people. All right, getting cool shots of the bridge right now. How was your comfort level? One to ten. Pretty good. Yeah. At least a seven, I would think. <laughs> good up there. Good. Good job, little Eva. Nice job. What's up, buddy? Just taking a nice little chill day. Hey, buddy. Hello. Hello. A damn fine cup of coffee. So, Doug, what do you what do you gotta say about today? I can't wait to drink this cocoa drink right here. <laughs> <laughs> you came all the way from Heidelberg in 12 hours' notice. To come meet me to learn how to fly and pick up this beautiful piece of machinery. Yes, sir. What are you gonna use it for? Lots, man. I wanna hook some people up. I mean... Doug's all about helping people. He's a teacher, does rental houses, and he's all about... The core of it is helping humanity, right? That's it. I mean, <laughs> you talk about it like it's some, not, no big deal. It's actually a pretty big deal yeah, when you're you doing something. Up, you summed it up well. I mean, uh, yeah, Selfless acts, man. I'll see, you, I'll see you next time I come back to Germany. Expect Hopefully you to be sooner than later. Yeah. Hop on hop. Well, I think that's a wrap for today. I'm just still so shocked at how universe works and how I first got stuck in the airport because of the whole baggage thing and Eurowings being super mean to me and then missing my whole trip and gig to Italy. I really wanted to see Sardinia, but I guess it wasn't my time to go yet. And then now meeting with Doug today, sending off my dearest drone to the next journey. Really bittersweet and I'm just really grateful at how it all unfolded so perfectly. The wedding is just about done and I'm hoping that within a couple days after I get settled in Thailand, I can wrap it up and send it off to Tim and Romy. Life just keeps getting better. I don't know what to say. It is just so great. Yeah, I'm gonna pack up my things, do a little editing, have a little dinner, and tomorrow I'm gonna wake up super early for a yoga practice. A super long practice because I'm gonna be on a plane for like 10 hours or something. And then I'm off to Koh Samui, Thailand, and the adventure keeps on adventuring. And I love you guys, and I'll see you guys tomorrow.
Adam Bond.